<sighs> Studio is almost done. Boy, and these guys are hanging. <laughs> it's safe to say that Drake is one of the biggest artists of all time, and his mass success has allowed him to accumulate tons of wealth and build a massive mega mansion. But in the basement of this mansion lies a hidden secret, and that is Drake's premier home recording facility. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look inside Drake's home studio. I'm going to be revealing everything from the custom monitoring setup to Drake's vocal chain that he uses. Here you can see a sketch of Drake's home studio layout. The first thing I'm going to focus on is the console area. At the heart of this setup is an Avid S6 control surface. This is where Drake's full-time engineer, Noel Cadastre, sits and records him. Noel is an essential part of the OVO sound team. On Drake's most recent records, including Hair Loss, he's credited as a recording engineer and a mixing engineer for pretty much every single song. Now, the Avid S6 is just a control surface, so there's no audio actually passing through it. It essentially is just used to get a faster control over Pro Tools. On his Instagram, Noel frequently posts pictures of the S6 console, and these actually give insight into Drake's mixing process. Here we can see a screenshot of the mix of 2C Slide. On the left, you can see the rough mix, then followed by the beat stems. You can see Drake's vocals and ad-libs laid out on the board. Next to the vocal, you can see this doubler effect and some reverb and delay. Here's a screenshot from another mix and you can see that doubler effect is still there with some Drake vocals. Here's another shot of the S6. You can actually see the computers hooked up to it here. You can see the Chapel Mac Mini, which I assume is the name for the studio, and Noel's MacBook Pro. You can also see the monitoring and control sources of the console. Now this is work of Producer 40. It allows him to monitor different versions of the mix. You can see what the song sounds like through iTunes conversion, Spotify conversion, or the different converters between HDX or UAD. Now this S6 is laid out similar to the way Noah 40's S5 is laid out in his state of the art studios. Now for mixing and just vibing, Drake needs speakers that absolutely slap. So Noah 40 implemented some custom Soda CF5000 monitors, and these things are absolute beasts. While the company Soda has long since been out of business, Noah actually contracted some of the original founding members to make these monitors again. These are mock-ups. You gotta do a mock-up because these things are so heavy. You gotta figure out where and how you're gonna hang them first. Otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. There's the mirrors. And then you gotta put mirror on the mock so you can see. Exactly where the listening position is. Cause that would be the tweeter in that, in these speakers, the tweeters right there. So that's sort of the center of the listening position in the mathematical center of the speaker. <sighs> Studio is almost done. Boy, and these guys are hanging. <laughs> now, some of y'all might remember Soda speakers from Novo 40 Studio. And yes, he has an obsession and believes that these are the best studio monitors in the world. Where are my speakers? So up top are the Soda 2000s and underneath are the Soda 750s. Yep. Wow. Alex was here mixing the other, Alex Tume, he loves the 750s. The only other speakers in the studio are these Nearfield Genelec 8050Bs. At his production station, Noah uses Genelec monitors, so I assume they were inspired by that. Now moving further up into the room, you can see Drake's vocal tracking setup inside the control room. Whenever he wants to record, it seems he just chills on the couch. Here you can see Drake recording under the palm tree. And here's this Instagram post by Drake, which shows where he usually records. Now, if you zoom into the sketch, you can see the reflection filter with a microphone on it. And from the story, here's the picture that the sketch is referencing. This appears to be a U87 side of reflection filter with a pop filter on it. Now, for those who don't know, the U87 is Drake's go-to scratch vocal recording microphone. You can see it in the control room of Noah 40's Soda Studios. However, his final vocals are always recorded on a different microphone, whether that be a C800G or a Mojave mic. Now, if you were paying attention in the previous clip, you can see that there is actually a control room inside his home studio. Here you can see there's a giant Louis Vuitton couch, and there's actually a massive mic stand where a C800G or nicer microphone than a U87 probably goes. And for headphones, you can see the classic Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs and what appears to be a Hearback Pro monitoring system. And based off the sketch, it's the same in the control room. Now, Drake's home studio is not the only place where he records. If he said wants to record in his bed or in other areas of his house, he has a little setup that he brings around. Now, this setup has a mic that I've actually never seen before, but it has the same reflection filter and headphones as the previous setup. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this deep dive into Drake's home recording setup. This video was challenging to make because there isn't that much information on his home recording setup. However, I was able to find some information and make some pretty cool conclusions about his recording process.